Donald Trump sells out his NFT collection. Price surges. OpenSea, who hasn't seen really any action or selling activity over the last year, as they've been absolutely crushed because NFTs are a joke and they're worthless. So I, I find this comical. And, you know, really at the end of the day, this is, you know, the campaign trying to make money is what it is. I don't care whether you like Trump or not. Uh, you know, he came out against Bitcoin uh, a couple years ago, and here he is selling NFTs, you know, pumping the, the Kevin O'Leary's and Sam Bankman Freeze and just kind of going down that road. Be because as any uh, smart money person knows, venture capitalist, crypto is where you make quick money, quick exit liquidity, and you, you, sir, madam, you are the exit liquidity. If you don't know who the patsy is in the room within 30 minutes, as Warren Buffett says, you are the patsy. So they are making lots of cash off of your back and uh, that's really all you can say about it. So, uh, you know, price is spiking, you sell on NFTs, just screenshots of pictures and, you know, JPEGs, which is just comedy hour. Uh, if, if you're looking for actual wealth building, you know, savings, this is not financial advice, this is freedom advice. So take it for what it is. Bitcoin, Bitcoin right down here, it's the only thing, it's the only thing, and it's on sale right now for you in fiat terms. One Bitcoin equals one Bitcoin. Let's remember that. Everything will be priced in sat someday. It couldn't be more clear. It'll be all priced in Satoshi someday. It might be 10 years from now. It might be five years from now. It might be 30 years from now. It will all be priced in Satoshi. So what are you going to give to your children someday? Are you going to be banking on NFTs and what billionaires are going to dump on you as they already have over the last year and these pump and dumps and these scam coins? Is that what you're going to be passing down to your kids? Are they going to be saying, you know, boy, dad, boy, mom, I'm, I'm really glad that you bought me these NFTs, these, these pictures of, of, of bored monkeys and, and the, the old president? Or are they going to say, wow, I'm really glad you gave me generational wealth that can't be confiscated, can't be double spent, can't be it's immutable, it can't be changed, can't be inflated away. It actually grew in wealth over time instead of lost its wealth, like the, like the dollar and all fiat currencies. Let's remember that, right? Here's the dollar compared to Bitcoin over the last seven years. That's very interesting, isn't it? Just absolutely through the floor. Lost all purchasing power compared to Bitcoin. Let's remember the federal debt is $31 trillion. So what does that mean? What, let's see what it's going to be in 2026. Projected. This is just projected as of right now. $42 trillion. The average debt per taxpayer is $307,000. And a debt per citizen, you're born, you have $121,000 in debt. You owe right away, right when you're born. Good luck with that. Are you going to have something that beats this? Or are you going to be sitting in fiat currencies and, and losing every single day of your life? What is it? What's the, what is the, the answer? Please tell me the answer. Because we now know exactly what is going on. We have the data here to show us exactly what is going on. The Fed over here is trying to dunk on Bitcoin the average price of, of eggs over the last year. But yet, what they forgot to tell you is this is the average price in fiat. This is the average price in Bitcoin. Let's see how that worked out. And they're saying, oh, it's volatile over the last couple of years. Look, oh, went up, went down. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, if you've been holding it for like five years or 10 years, look. Look at the price of your life. Eggs through the floor. You could be buying whole farms with the Bitcoin you've owned. So what do you think is going to happen over the next five years, the next 10 years, the next 20 years as you hold Bitcoin? The only finite asset we know of besides time. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think different things are going to happen? Or do you think more of the same is going to happen? The only finite thing we have besides time. You tell me what is going to happen. Please put in your comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to ask real questions, if we are going to actually uh, look for real answers, question everything with boldness, and stop being just slopping and slurping up what the elites, what the unproductive class, what the politicians, what the globalists, the Marxists, the communists, what they're all just la feeding to you, feeding you in the trough, and you're just lapping it up. Just been lapping it up our entire lives. We've been told this game, this this shtick. We need an inflationary currency. We need to destroy your currency. You got to pay us in our currency that we tell you to pay with. P.S. Get out of here. We're done. There's a small, irate, and transient majority, minority. Now it will become a majority that says enough. We're not playing this game anymore. Where you can just rug pull us all the time. We go to the bank and you don't even have our cash there, our currency because you lent it all out and there's bank runs. This is a story of of banking, of legacy banking, of, of governments, of fiat currency, and now of crypto, because it's all just people shilling and printing up their own tokens. You can't do that Bitcoin. You cannot do that Bitcoin. You need proof of work. That's the beauty of proof of work. You have to expend the energy to mine the Bitcoin. And if you think, if you think you're going to attack 
Bitcoin, good luck, because right now it's $38 billion to 51% attack the network. Good luck with that. So and you're incentivized to instead take that $38 billion, and that's just attacking the network to try to, what, double spend and, and reverse a transaction? Good luck going back and then trying to outrun the network. You can't do it. You cannot do it. And that's what governments understand now. A lot of them don't really understand it yet, but a lot of them are so scared beyond their mind because they realize that people now have their money. They, they never had this ability before, and now they have it. That's, think about that. Now they have it. They have their freedom, their liberty. They can't be censored. The people can't be told what currency to use and, and to pay for other people's counterfeiting of that currency through inflation, through the taxes, right here. This is Keynesians. This, these are the unproductive class individuals. These are the people that are telling you how to run your life and what to do every single day, taking you to war, killing men and women, killing innocent people all over the world, putting bases on every you know, continent on earth, every port, and, and doing whatever they want and paying off their own buddies 10% for the big guy, and on and on and on and on, funding their own pet projects at the behest of you, at the, at the mercy of you, at, you at, at your work. You go in an open-air prison every day to go and go to your little matrix pod that you sit in, and they just suck the energy from you. They suck the time and energy away from you. That's literally what's happening. The movie The Matrix was about that very thing. We just don't see it because we think we're free people. We think we just go to work every day on our own volition, and yet we are taxed to death directly and indirectly through inflation, to go spend our time and energy for these people, for their pet projects, for defense and war, for social security, for Medicare and Medicaid, just redistributing wealth to other people, what, whatever the, the puppeteers at the top deem appropriate to get the most amount of votes, to persuade the most amount of people and tell you, social security, just pay us. We'll have the currency for you when you're ready to retire. BS, it's going bankrupt in 10 years. I thought you had the currency for us. Shouldn't you have grown it? Instead, you spent it all and it's gone. Medicare, Medicaid, same thing, just buying votes. Oh, here, we'll just give you free this. Obamacare, affordable health care, yeah, okay. Our health care has gone up 10x minimum over the last 10 years. Real affordable health care. Absolute abomination. And it's because none of us pay attention. None of us pay attention to what's going on. We're too apathetic, too indifferent. We care less because our Sunday night football's on, Monday night football's on tonight. We're ready to go. Who cares? I got my fantasy football. I got my, you know, my sporting events. I got the gladiators in the Coliseum fighting it out. I got their emperor on high. You know, Joe Biden, Donald Trump doing this and that while the, the real thieves are behind the scenes in the treasury diluting your currency, printing it away. The central bankers, the cartels of the world, diluting the coins, debasing them just like in the Roman Empire, melting them down, coin clipping, stealing the real wealth, stealing the real gold and silver. And it's a game that just continues on every second of every day. As you can see, it just goes and we just on the hamster wheel over and over and over and over and over and over. And no one does a thing. No one says a thing. No one cares. No one even, no one even remotely knows what's going on. Very few people, as Henry Ford said, it, it better, better off that people don't know the monetary system they live in. For if they did, there would be revolution in the morning. We still don't know. That was 100 years ago. We still don't know. It's a very easy concept to understand if you actually just spend 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, 60 minutes just understanding money, how it works. But we're not taught it in school. Why do you think that is? Why do you think we're not taught money in school? Is that purposeful? We're taught to go just get a job. Just get, get a job so you can invest in a 401k. Don't you realize that whole system is just designed to benefit a few people and that's it? That's not designed to benefit you. And yet no one questions it. We just keep going again that same hamster wheel every morning. No one questions it. I don't pretend to have all the answers, but by golly, I'm searching for them. And I found a lot of them over the last 12 years after the 08 crash. I realized the game is not red versus blue, which I thought it was for a long time. The game is a state versus you. If you appreciate this and what we're doing here, please like and subscribe. Please share this to other people who might find it valuable, who might not like that they're owing 100 thousand, 90 to 100,000 in debt per citizen right now when you're born. And then 120 in a few years, probably going to be more like 200, 300, because they're going to print again. Things are going to go down. We're going to have to print 10x, 20x what we did even a couple years ago. And your minds are going to be blown. Mark my words. Absolute insanity. Please share it with people that you think might need it. They might need to hear these things. And you don't know what's going on. And please put your comments below what you like, what you don't like, and what you would like to see going forward. And remember, the most important thing we have is our time. I appreciate you spending it here. It's the most important asset we have. It's the only finite asset we have besides Bitcoin. Bitcoin is time and time is Bitcoin. Save, make a fair trade for yourself. Save 
in something that's equal of your time and energy, your t finite time and energy. The only other finite thing I know of is Bitcoin. Please save in the hardest asset known to man so you can become wealthier over time. And this is your life getting cheaper over time. Your life getting cheaper over time. It's not financial advice, it's freedom advice. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.